Hello guys, welcome back to the Eddian Project. Thanks for joining us again. I've had a couple of emails asking what type of computer have you got and is it powerful? Indeed. Do you need a powerful computer? And do you need a powerful computer? Let's see. Let's see. So, well, yeah, we have just, as as you probably know, a couple of weeks ago, um, we did a lot of upgrading in there, didn't we? Ed? And oh, we did. one of the elements was the computer. Now, we run a PC in here, and um, although the question, one of the questions was, do you need a powerful piece or uh, well, powerful computer? Yeah. We don't know anything about Mac, so we're PC guys. Oh yeah. Um, so well, this probably will. Pretend if, to Mac users as well, anyway. Possibly, yeah. You know, does it need to be powerful? That's right. Now, it all depends, in my opinion, um, what you want to use it for. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, Cubase will run on more or less anything. It will. You know, it will. even a little. Um, tell them what you've got, Ed. Well, I've got one of these little. What are they called now? They're just like desktop computers, little box, little square box. But yeah, it's pretty powerful because my my big desktop went, mm. and we were looking at oh uh, the motherboard going well. We're going to be getting a new motherboard, and you'll probably not get that. It won't fit that mm -hmm. um, processor. And so you bought this all so together thought, unit. Yeah, rather than do it, we bought this little. How big is it? Ed? That big? Uh, yeah, it's only a little desktop mm. thing, but it's running a um, an, an an AMD Ryzen seven, mm. and it's got thirty two gig of. DDR4 RAM in it, mm. and uh, obviously a, a built-in GPU, and mm -hmm. whatever. but I mean, it runs and it's great. Now, I can't do anything elaborate on it, because no. I will run out of resources. Mm -hmm. But this is where it gets done, Ian. Does it have to be powerful? No, it doesn't. But, depending on the uses you expect mm -hmm. from it. Now, if you're running lots and lots of tracks, and you want lots and lots of samples and things like that, mm -hmm. that you want to run, yes. The better, the faster and bigger the computer and storage and everything is going to benefit you. Yes. But if you don't run that, you're only running, maybe you only want to make little demo type things or whatever, and you're only running maybe eight tracks or something like that, mm -hmm. audio, audio, and you're not incorporating video and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and you're not using a lot of samples, then you can get away with something smaller. So what do we use ours for? Now then. <laughs> yeah, well, this is it. Well, this is it. Now, our old uh, PC... It could do it, but it was, it was struggling. It was struggling. Uh, what was the specs on that, Ed? Well, I can't remember fully off the top of my head, but you were running an i7. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the gen on that. I think it was, I think a, it was like a 9 or some gen think, 9 or something, was it? I think it was a 10th generation. Was it, a tenth generation? Yeah. So it was like an i7, 10th gen. You were running that on a now no longer available, except on the second hand market, an Asus uh, Z730 Mark IIa. Mm -hmm. Motherboard, um, DDR RAM at four, DDR four RAM, and I think it was thirteen thirty three megahertz mm -hmm. frequency speed. Um, you were running it then with a, because we do video as well. That's just the thing, guys. We're not we don't just do the audio so video. So we did have a dedicated video card, and that was the uh, Nvidia thirty sixty. That's right, which we still got. Which you still got. Mm. And then obviously we get a couple of M2 drives in the board and, mm -hmm. and then storage space, etc. And uh, we were running that with the two cam links, weren't we? That's two right. Cam -link two HDMIs. external cam links. Yeah. Information on the screen, actually, mm -hmm. for that, yeah. Yeah, for the two cameras. Mm -hmm. And um, we were exhausting the, uh, the, the resources, USB yeah. facilities as well. So we actually laterally put a seven port super fast. Um, card in, That's PCI right. card, seven, yeah. seven ports, uh, 3.2 generation mm -hmm. ones. Yeah. And I think that's about it. Really. We were trying to get the, the this this PC to do what we wanted to do. And to be clear, yeah. right, when, when we put episodes up that involved us using Cubase, mm. the, 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 the computer was actually recording our episode 
for video and audio at the same time. Yeah. It's yeah. a big, get, big ask, it especially was. for 4K. We, we run it, as you can see, if you're watching us in 4K, yeah. we, we always record in 4K. And we were running two cameras in 4K. And latterly, we, we added another camera and, um, well, <laughs> we spent more time right. uh, trying to get it to work yeah. than, than anything right. else. We did get a, co a comment one time about this guy, oh, uh, that novice... Uh, a novice thing that you've done, you know, doing audio and you've got audio. The cracks and pobbles, we, we realised that, but the, mm. the, the, the episode was already up. And that was caused uh, through a bottle, we found later, through a bottleneck. That's right. And it was because we were asking the computer to do too, too much with all the audio and two 4K um, camera links. As well as, as probably um, uh, a 30 track. Yeah. Um, audio production on Cubase. Yeah. So that's this is a, this, and this is important to know. Yeah. Because if if you want to do, you, you, if you're if you're asking your computer a big ask. Yeah. Then you need you need a really powerful computer. It's as simple as that. Well, shall I tell them what we've actually right. ready to? Now then, some of the parts we kept, didn't we, Ed? Oh yeah. Well, let, let, let's inform them really what, how it came about. Yeah. Because... And as as Ed's going through this. Um, I shall put some information on the screen mm. and some links if you're interested. Um, the cost of this computer, I mean, we we haven't actually costed it out. Well, this has cost you only one thing yes. that I can think of, mm. but I might be wrong. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Well, this computer basically was, because he has two computers. All the production, all the, uh, the recording work that we do is done up here. Mm -hmm. And then... The, Post processing. Yeah, the whole process, uh, the, the file, the video file that we did with the audio and everything, then we exported downstairs mm -hmm. to the downstairs computer, which That's he does, right. which is more powerful, and then he does all the video editing and, and put it all together downstairs. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So that this computer basically was downstairs. The in, the inside of this computer was downstairs, mm -hmm. and he upgraded everything downstairs. So what he did was he bought the latest Ryzen nine. Um, Processor, which is, which is, I mean, it's mental mm. how fast and powerful that is. It's, right. it's incredible. That is just, I mean, it's not the best. Obviously, you said there's a thread buster thing. Yeah, thread buster. But this yeah. is this is up yeah. there. It's That's up the there. Yeah, yeah. So he's bought this, which is the equivalent of a Intel i9, mm. top gen. Then he put a new motherboard in, mm -hmm. and again he upped the spec on that. At the end yeah, yeah. He's now running it with not 32 gig. A 4D RAM. He's got 64 gig of F DDR5. DDR5, yes, that's right. The card that's up here, which is a uh, plus. A, uh, we must mention a, a, full, a 4090 downstairs. You put the 4090 in, that's and right. the card that came up here will mm -hmm. tell you in the spec what that is. Mm -hmm. And now, basically, that is a monster downstairs. It is a monster. And to yeah. be honest, that would be too much for audio. In fact. For audio only, what we've got up here is probably too much. Yeah. Just for audio. Just but for don't audio. don't forget, guys, we're running two video cameras up here as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. So basically, that's so that's what transpired. Everything that was downstairs is now up here. That's right. With the exception of one added on thing that we replaced. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So, what we got? Right. So processor-wise, what we have in here now is a, an i9. Um, it's an 11th gen. It's 11900K. Mm -hmm. Which is a super duper fast processor. Yeah, yeah. Great, great processor. There's a cracking on it as well for obviously the heat in that. That's for the that's for the cooling of the that's CPU. That's the cooling. Yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. that's a, an NZXT cracking times fifty three auto CPU water cooler. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And that's installed. Uh, it's on a, a Rogue Strix Z five ninety dash F motherboard, mm -hmm. and it's basically, basically is a, a gaming Wi Fi motherboard. It is, but yeah. it's powerful. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's got that. It's installed with, as, as we say, uh, it's installed with a, an, an in, NVIDIA GeForce uh, 3090. Mm -hmm. um, we have, as I say, we've transferred the, the extra ports, although this board had loads more ports than the other one. I think, it had, have, I think it had eight, didn't it? It, it did, but mm. we still needed a few, so we transferred the PCI supervised port board we told you about, That's right. which is a gen, gen uh, seven port, it's a seven port, 3.2 gen one mm -hmm. um, supervised card. That's right. That's marvellous. Um, it keeps it more quiet, doesn't it? Ed? Oh, it does. The RAM that we put in now is Corsair Verge Vengeance, which is top spec RAM, and uh, that's now uh, still DD, 
DR4, mm -hmm. but instead of 1333 frequency, we've now stepped that up to um, 3600. 3600, yeah. And it's, yeah. it's uh, two 16 gig sticks or 32 mm -hmm. gig of RAM. And uh, the um, system drive is a, it's a Samsung 790 Evo um, one terabyte M2 drive. Mm -hmm. Specs on the screen Specs for Specs on the yep. screen for that, guys. And there's also... Uh, well, actually, there's two of these. One, what specs are both the same except for one's a one terabyte, mm -hmm. one's a two terabyte. Two terabyte. The two terabyte yeah. is your system drive. Mm. The one terabyte is your secondary storage drive, etc. Et now, the reason for that is because if you've got, I mean, I'm, I'm running um, a sampler. Uh, not the name completely. What's the, what's the name of the sampler we're using? Contact. It? Contact, yeah. right? And there's there's gigabytes and gigabytes oh. and gigabytes. I prefer not to store those samples on the system drive. No. I prefer to have it separate so yeah. that the computer can talk to the system drive uh, uninhibited uh, and, yeah. uh, and contact can do what it wants on a separate drive. Exactly. And it does make it run smoother. Yeah, yeah. On a system this powerful, I'm not really too sure how much difference that would make, but... Oh, no, no, we, I still right. know it's it's yeah. better to do it that way. Yeah. But the thing as well, is, which we haven't marked down, excuse me, I'm just reading this from the sheet, guys, because it's too much info to keep in your head. Mm. But the, the, last, the, the last thing we need to mention, we bought one thing that we didn't bring from upstairs. That's right. Because prior, we were, we were using two Camlink. We were. C-Link C Camlinks, 4Ks, mm -hmm. and they weren't running just as you wanted them, they were causing the bottlenecks. They were. And you looked into it online and you found that really the way to run that is to have a dedicated card. Now this, than... was, this wasn't cheap, guys. No, this wasn't cheap. But it is a four HDMI port, mm -hmm. so you can run four of these all at 4K. All if you simultaneously. Simultaneously. Right. So what he did, he put in there, he, put, he bought the Blackmagic Decklink Quad HDMI card. Mm -hmm. As I say, just a, it's a PCI card goes on the computer mm -hmm. and then you, it gives you four HDMI outs and you can have them running... Uh, ins. Uh, so ins, sorry. Yeah. yeah. And you can have them, if you want, and I've got four cameras, you can have them all simultaneously at 4K. Right. But we're running two, and since you put those in, we don't have any of that no. problem. Uh, Which leads us, very sweetly, into latency. Go ahead. Oh, it does. If you want to listen to this, and you're putting it through a, 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 a plug in this little like says whatever. There is a latency. There is a latency in every system. It doesn't matter what it is, because what you have is that input signal has got to go into the system and do a round, a, a round trip to come back to you. Mm -hmm. And it depends on the system you've got, how powerful, how quick mm -hmm. they can go back to you. And a lot of times the latency can be quite disconcerting because mm -hmm. if you're playing stuff and you know you're playing it and you're hearing it back milliseconds. I look, when you talk about milliseconds, it's not a lot, but to the no. human ear, when you hear it, it is. Yes, Ed did an episode on how how, how to how deal with it? this. Um, I, I could put a link in the you description, could, but um, <laughs> that was more or less dealing with um, Ed's frustration yeah. with um, with uh, you know the latency. Yeah. So since we've since well, we've done was, all this, yeah, that was prior. Yeah. But now with this, there is no latency. I mean, there is absolutely no, well... Not non-discernible. Non-discernible. You, you, you don't even hear it, so you can't talk about it. But what, what, we've, um, what happens is your latency depends on two things. The, 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 that your interface can give you low enough sample buffers mm -hmm. to go down to. That's right. Now, that depends on your, your, your interface. Mm -hmm. But the other thing that's equally as important, if not more, is mm. the computer. The speed that you, and power of your computer. Because mm. if you've got something that's really quick and really powerful, mm. you can get your um, sample buffers down to a minimum. You can. And what, de what determines that is the, your interface. That will be the lowest. The, whatever the lowest is there, that is the lowest you can go. That's as low as you can go. And it's usually 32 samples. Well, it's it? on the better. Yeah. And the more... The, the more, the better, and mm. more expensive units and quality units will go down to 32 buffers. I don't think, I've never seen, I might be wrong guys, so correct us in the comments if I'm wrong. So we're running at 32 buffers size, yeah. and, and there's no latency. No, none at all. None no. whatsoever. No. And we're going to demonstrate that for you now. Mm. 
Right then, guys. So now, um, what what we're going to do is to demonstrate the um, the lack of latency. Yeah, the, almost zero latency. Almost zero latency. Right? Is that we're um, we're going to ask Ed to play through Cubase, through one of his favourite plugins, and uh, I'm going to pan that to the right of the stereo image. Uh, Mike, uh, camera two is going to pick up the sound directly from his guitar. So you're going to get like a um, him strumming the guitar and it's acoustic, sort of it's acoustically picked, yeah. picked up. It's, yeah, uh, acoustic of it. So, best with headphones, this guys. No, oh, yeah, definitely. Absolutely, Ed. So, show them, Ed. Right, let me pick this thing up a minute. Pick it up, Ed. Yeah. Uh, here's one we have tuned earlier. Mm, we have, yeah. Yeah. So, whenever you're ready, Ed. Well, whenever you're ready, Ed. Yeah. Right, here we go. Single notes, Ed? Well, we can try a few single, single notes. Single notes, yeah. Just a few skills. Absolutely, Ed. What has this meant to you, this zero license here? Oh, but for me, right, I mean, I'm a, I assume that I'm not the only one. Mm. You know? I mean, as I say, you don't want to be trying to play with something in time, time mm. when you're totally getting it. You're hearing it mm. um, even just milliseconds after it's you actually are. been played. I oh, know. You're trying to play with the actual time, but you, you're, you, your ear's picking it. It's, to me, it's a very difficult thing. And I, I dare say most musicians would have a problem with it. Absolutely. But going down to the 32 samples, it's, you know, no, there's no, for me, there's no discernible. Um, latency or lag? No. The thing is, I would argue that it's guitarists through this type of setup that suffer the most. A vocalist can go in and through you through through your interface you can you can apply a bit of reverb. They don't need to hear it monitored through keyboard, and they just get on with their day. Well, to be honest, a lot of, a lot of keyboard uh, sorry vocalists anyway. It's a well known fact that most Singers will, will remove one of the earpieces and stick their earring in there and, 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 and hear the natural thing yeah. of the voice. Yeah. So, yeah. but as you say, probably guitarists or maybe any kind of stringed instrument that re re requires processing, processing, yeah. would would, would uh, suffer from it. But, yeah. You know. And it, it was a thorn in your side when it. Had... Well, it was. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, obviously the, the the cheaper budget computers and cheaper budget are. Uh, interfaces mm. um, won't have won't be able to go down to the same no uh, well, the same bottom level samples at thirty two. That's right, yeah. You know, and it's very. I mean, you only need to look. At, I mean, it's not just me saying it. The technical thing is when you look into recording on DAWs in the digital domain. Mm. The rule of thumb always is when recording. When recording, mm. get your buffer size as low as possible. Mm. When, you, when you've got loads of tracks done and you want to mix, mm. get your buffer size up. Mm. That's right, yeah. That's the way it works. Yeah. So, Ed, um, the answer to the questions, basically, is um, if, you, if you're building a computer or looking for a computer, you have to know what you're expecting of it. Exactly, exactly. And latency is one of the biggies. Yeah. Don't expect to buy a computer for a couple of hundred quid, and if you're a guitarist, expect to go in there and 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 what's it? Because you know uh, you pay what you for, you pay what you for that's what you it. get. Yeah, so it. yeah, exactly. That's, that's it. it. Anyway, thanks for joining us again, guys. Oh yeah, I hope guys. that's answered the question. If you've got yeah. any questions specifically, you know, write them in the comments below, yeah. and I will answer them well, when course, I. Of course, we yeah. will. We we'll answer them. All of them. Maybe, yeah. may, no, it might not be spontaneous, but you know, we will, we will mm. answer. We won't ignore you, uh, like some people do. Mm. I won't mention any names no. that you, you, like you know. Uh. But, uh, but by the way, guys, 
Again, thanks for all your subscriptions, subscriptions. and your views yeah. and your comments you've been giving us. Yeah. And, and the likes. I mean, the likes as well. I mean, I love the likes. The big thumbs up. So continue with that, guys. Keep subscribing. Mm. Keep giving us a thumbs up. Obviously, if you do, if they like it, like comment. Yeah. We want to chat to you. And don't forget, smash that notification smash bell it, yeah. for updates and new videos, posts, etc., mm. etc., etc. Et right. yeah. yeah. Anyway. Hope you're happy building your PC. Oh, have fun. Have yeah. fun, yeah. Have fun. We did. We did. Twice yeah. times. Yeah. So, see you next week, guys. Ciao for now.